Hey guys, this is Source Lab by Initial Audio. Welcome to the deep dive. The MIDI sequencer. Let's say you found the presets you like and you want to load MIDI's directly in Source Lab. You simply click load MIDI file, select one of the MIDI files Source Lab comes with, you can use these previous and next buttons. Okay, great. So this is the easiest way possible using the MIDI sequencer, but it can do much more. It is a six layer MIDI sequencer, but really it has seven layers. So we have the master layer and then the layers one, two, six. The master MIDI sequencer can be both a MIDI player or a MIDI arrangement window. Why? In this preset, for example, we have four layers, a drum kit, keys, a loop, and a 808. Let's have a look how this looks on the lab page. We have four layers. Drums, a loop, a multi-sample bass piano, and on layer number four, a 808. We can trigger each one of these layers with one of these keys. Every layer has its own color. And you can adjust which key should trigger your MIDI sequencer. You can simply do this here. You can adjust the keys on here, move the root around. And here's how the master sequencer works as a arrangement window. We have four sound sources and four MIDI layers. Each one of the root nodes of these individual MIDI layers shows as a colored bar here. So this node would now trigger our drum sequencer. So now what we can do is we can create a little arrangement. If we know this triggers our keys, we may want to start the beat with a little intro, keys, then we add a loop, and finally, we bring in the drums. And let's see what we got if we press play. And this is how you can easily arrange MIDI layers in Source Lab. So what else do we have here? At the top, we have the transport parameters, play, stop, power on and off, and lock. This is a useful feature if you like the melody you have, but you don't like the preset. If you now change the preset, the MIDI will not get affected. The play button at the top triggers all MIDI sequencers at once. If you want to play back an individual MIDI layer, press play in the layer. Here at the top, we can adjust grid size, quantize, zoom in and out, activate or deactivate loop, select nodes, clear selected, clear all, play, stop, record. Yes, you can record in Source Lab, especially useful if you use Source Lab in standalone mode. Node shift. So if node shift is deactivated, it doesn't matter which key in your key zone you press. The MIDI will always play back as it is. If you activate note shift, the MIDI information will transpose depending on how many semitones you move away from your root note. A latch mode, key detection, and a routing matrix. By default, all sequences trigger all layers. If you want to trigger only certain sound sources with certain MIDI layers, you have to activate or deactivate the layers you want to trigger. So, if we want MIDI layer 1 
to trigger sound source A, we deactivate sound source B, C, D, E, F. If we want MIDI layer 2 to trigger only sound source B, we deactivate sound source A, C, D, E, F. And the same for the third layer. So in this case, MIDI layer 1 would trigger sound source A, MIDI layer 2 would trigger sound source B, and MIDI layer 3 would trigger sound source C. And you can do this from layer 1 to 6 and sound source A to F. Having six MIDI layers also comes with another huge benefit. If we load this preset, and deactivate the sequencer, we will see that we have multiple key zones here. Drums, a bass, synth, plugs. Let's take a look how this looks on the lab page. We see that the instruments on every layer have a dedicated key zone. In this case, we don't even need MIDI layer routing because we can only trigger one sound per key. But what if you want to use the entire key range for every sound source while having a different instrument loaded on every sound source which should play a different melody per sound source. So for example, in this layer you want strings, in the next layer you want a piano, in the next layer you want a synth, and all these melodies play across all the keys. So being able to basically completely separately trigger each sound source with a dedicated MIDI layer allows us to use the full key range for every sound source. <laughs> 